Let us look at 1 Peter, the first chapter, from the third verse. Bible writes, I'm reading from King James Version. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Somebody say through faith. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold, that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, ye love, in whom now ye see him not, yet believing, ye receive with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. May the Lord add a blessing upon the reading and hearing of his word. Our key verse, amen, leading talking about, amen, the test of our faith and also our just a lead-in to continuing and talking about the, the strongholds, amen. And as I indicated before, I wanted to talk a little bit about the stronghold of fear, amen, today. Our key verse is the seventh verse, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold, that perish it, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Amen. We see here that the Apostle Peter writes that the test or the trial of our faith being more precious than gold that perisheth, though tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. This letter that Peter wrote to the church, both to Jews and to Gentiles, amen, was Paul's encouragement to the saints to push on. Amen. Peter himself had already gone through some fiery trials in his life leading up to this. But now, knowing that not only had they began to endure these new converts, these new people who had found joy in their hearts through salvation, these people who were learning to trust. Amen. Remember, even the Bible talks about Jesus having, amen, learned to be obedient. So, amen. So we know, amen, that it is a growing process that, Hallelujah. amen, all of us in here, amen, that we're growing in grace and in our knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And amen. we're not there yet, and we're still, amen, striving. But in the midst of us striving, in the midst of us pushing forward, amen, there are trials and situations of life, amen, that you and I face. Amen. Peter, amen, wants to encourage his people today. Amen. In the book of James, amen, James similarly wrote in the first chapter, in the 12th verse, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Amen. I love how the word talks about God's promises yes, 
to his people. Yes, sir. Amen. The Bible proclaims that God is not a man that he should lie. Amen. amen. So, amen. If there's a promise that is written in the Bible, amen, and I know, amen, that God, amen, will, amen, honor his own word. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Though not in the scripture, we can all identify with the statement, life is not fair. Come on, somebody. Amen. But I know some of you have used it like scripture. It's not in the Bible. Amen. That's not in the Bible. But amen. We all are familiar and understand what that means, that life isn't fair. Amen. None of us, amen, can pick and choose our challenges. Am I right about it today? If we could, amen, you and I would never go through anything. Amen, amen. If, if, if I could pick my challenges uh, tomorrow, amen, it won't be tomorrow, amen, it won't be the next day. Maybe next week. No, when I get to next week, it won't be next week either. Amen. I, amen, would not pick my own challenges. But they come on their own. Bible says, though, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now, we need to take that word literally. Amen. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. God does not live out his life through our flesh. Amen. Amen. Without faith, it's impossible. We are, the Bible says, the just shall live, what? By faith. The just shall live by faith. Amen. Though we walk in the flesh, amen, the Bible says, as we begun with, we do not war after the flesh. Amen. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, Hallelujah. but they're mighty through God to the what? Pulling down of what? The pulling down of strongholds. Yes, amen. We must, Bible says, for to come to God, we must first believe that he is God and that he's a rewarder of them yes, sir. that diligently, that means to go after, yes, sir. amen, that diligently seek him. That means, amen, that at the first sign of trouble, well, amen, we're not drawing back, amen. I don't want to be like that one described in James in the first chapter, amen, where James talks about that a double-minded man is yeah. unstable in all his ways. Amen. In other words, amen, you're up one day and you're down the next. Well, Praise God. You don't want to be like a ship, amen, whose sail is set and you, amen, go wherever the wind is blowing you. Amen. But we need, amen, to have our compass set on Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a one-way passage, amen, for our life. Praise God. It is not enough to say Jesus is Lord in the sanctuary. Come on, man. Amen. I heard a lot of praising going on up in here today. Amen. Amen. But we need to have that same song, those songs, those songs of praises, those songs of victory. Amen. All that glory to God. Hallelujah. All of that, amen, needs to be done internally in the midst of trouble. Amen. Whether we're in our home or on our job, amen, that should be praising, amen, going forth in our life. It's not enough just to do it in this sanctuary, but through our actions and how we respond, amen, it, those things proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord. And it does it, amen, in the midst of many witnesses. How else, amen, are we going to convince somebody else to have what we have? Eventually, something has got to come out of us that says something has happened, amen, that we have had an experience with Jesus Christ. I will never try to tell you that when we're going through something that we can just brush it off. Amen, because it does hurt. Peter had indicated in verse 6 of our, our text here that the test, that this trial period, amen, was a season. And he did not deny that 
this season, that in this season, that we would be in heaviness. It's real. Amen. Now, I'm not going to come to your home and pray with you and just say, hang in there, Doc. You know, uh, you know and, and, just, and then go off and go have a burger somewhere as if, amen, life has gone on. But we realize that what you're going through is real. No one is saying for us to just say hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, amen. amen. And, and it, the thing that we're actually going through is not real. What has caused pain, amen, the pain is real, oh, yeah. amen. But it's the Bible that encourages us how to get through our pain. Yes, sir. The Bible says in the familiar passage of Psalm 23, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Amen. The, 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 the main part there, though I walk through, indicating that we are going to go through some things. All they that are godly in here today, well, you're going to go through. As that father said, faith that is not tested well, is not faith. Amen. amen. For what a man, amen, if he hopes for something and he sees it, why does he yet hope for it? Amen. Praise God. Our faith must be tested. Amen. Amen. I was thinking about an occurrence in, in my life this week where I had to be believe God for something. Amen. And it's almost like I was left with no choice. And some God, times God will put you in a situation where you're left with no choice. Amen. Because either God is God or he's not. You don't have a middle ground to fall to. Amen. You have to, uh, uh, you have to trust God. Either he is or he's not. Amen. Amen. And if, I'm, if I call myself saved, then I must choose the path that he is God. Amen. And I must trust him. 